trying fish labs hooker stick bait just before sunrise on the eight foot three akuma plugging rod it's wild out here okay guys i've been asked several times how do i use my ball bearing symbols for my jigs and i thought i'll just show that and i'll be throwing a few lures in there Ooh, the water's moving fast out there, really fast. The tide must be changing. Wow. That thing almost hit the shoreline. This fish lab lure is something. Ah, gonna have to change clothes when I get in. Brian designed this. I love it. The, the choice of the um, size of the guides was very important, especially the tip. Now, I'm going to show you the reason why. Um, right here is the swivel. All right. This is a Spro um, rated for 135 pound test. So it's a fairly medium large Spro. Now this pro here will fit to all the guides so um, I don't have to store it like so. But well, let's check out that tip. Now um, it's very important to have a decent sized tip where your uh, tackle will fit to. Look at that. With space to spare. Now that is great. That's why I really love this. Now, as you can see, that Mustad is on the right. I think it's rated up to 90 pounds. And the uh, Spro's on the left are rated for 135. The Spro's get kind of expensive after a while because you only get a couple of pack. Uh, it is, I think, like $11 for a pack. But uh, when I use the bigger lures, I tend to do that. And I prefer um, using the Mustads for the smaller lures and jigs. Okay, I prefer this Spro number three because it's rated for 135 pound test and I can go directly to my heavier set lures. I prefer that and I have quite a few plugging rods ranging from, let's see, Daiwa, Shimano, um, Okuma, Pen. Uh, and I prefer going directly through the tip without no um, leader line. So I prefer the Spro number three when I use my jigs. Um, they're a lot cheaper when I use the mustads and they're not as rated as high so I use my jigs um, same size for when I go jigging and that's my preference. Thank you.